Yo, what's going on, you crazy savages? What is everyone doing on this fine evening, morning, wherever you're at? The new year has begun. Feels a little bit different, like a fresh, clean slate. I don't know why I think that. It's probably the stupidest thing I've ever said. Never mind, I've probably said a lot more stupid than that. Anyway, we're about to fire this thing off. Or if you're tuning in in the morning, let's see where these stocks will go to this week. We got some key dates coming up with FTDs, GME, AMC, especially GME, piling to the uh, moon, beyond the moon with the FTDs and the ETFs on the threshold list and blah, 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 blah. So let's see what comes of that. Um, this whole Fintel thing's driving me up the wall. I've seen uh, our boy Trey's trades over there in a small pissing match with Fintel. And then a crazy-ass tweet from uh, TD Ameritrade that uh, was almost mind-blowing. And then um, what else do we got? Oh, Evergrande uh, suspended the news as of a few hours ago. What a shit show that is. And they're demolishing everything over there. And then a nice little video at the end on... Uh, where this whole <laughs> overextended, over leveraged, uh, whatever you want to call it, the entire planet, uh, inflation, Jerome Powell speak, the whole shit show that is a little bit more quiet, which is obviously we know the media is a little bit frightening to uh, say the very least, guys. So hopefully we have a good week. Hopefully these stocks start moving up. Both of these son of a guns, AMC, uh, obviously gets get this thing sustained above 30. GameStop looking for about 180 and above, 160, and then 180, and then uh, uh, let's see where they rip to. So let's hop right into this son of a guns. Let's check on Ryan Cohen real quick. Well, I mean, why wouldn't we? Okay, no, he's still pooping in the uh, metaverse. And then this thing. Okay, so Fintel is out blocking everyone and their mother. And then last night we touched on this count with uh, Fintel being real or not. And here's again, you know, that was last night's video. Did we touch on that last night? We did. So long story short, Trey asks a couple questions or whatever, gets blocked by the supposed Fintel account. Dave Lauer's piping in, right? Well, I assure you, he's talking about his terminal down there, blah, blah, blah. So then you go over here to... Fintel here. Okay, so this guy's digging deep, right, into Fintel. Uh, shouldn't have blocked me, Fintel. Now I'm digging. Turns out Wilton Reisenhoover. What's with all these names? You guys, we touch on these if you guys have been around since the, the Summer Teeth guy. But And these names. Why are all these bankers and names? They're the weirdest names. They're the strangest, oddest people in the entire uh, planet. As we know, we touched on Ken Griffin with his... Uh, uh, inca <laughs> incapability to uh, blink, for Christ's sakes. But then this name, you got a Reisenhoover. I've never, Reisenhoover. Um, so, okay, long story short, let's dig into this thing. So it turns out he used to, uh, Quantum Capital Partners, uh, a, a, a managing partner of a hedge fund, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you got that going on. You got Trey over here with this. But then let's just uh, click on Fintel. Where the hell's Fintel? Right here. Okay, now we touched on this last night without them being verified. I don't think they have enough followers to do that, but I think businesses can because I've seen some businesses. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not the biggest Twitter guy, as you know. There's a way to get verified if you're, uh, you would think Fintel would be verified, right? But the one thing I don't like here, five hours ago, there were, as you may have heard, we have started blocking trolls. Okay, that's all we need to read of that. And they go on and on and on here, right? And they did this yesterday, too. Something tells me this is not a real Fintel account, like we touched on last night. I don't see somebody putting that out alone. Do you guys? Am I absolutely nuts here? So, yeah, I mean, you would think Fintel eventually in the next few days, if this is not really Fintel. A lot of these places, you know, I've noticed, again, I'm not the biggest Twitter guy. You know, they're they're putting out tweets of information from, from Fintel, right? Like this page does. Other pages do whatever. They'll copy something from a publication or website or whatever the hell. But I, th I find this very odd, right? It's not the hugest of deals, but it's just super weird with all that madness going on. Um, this was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Okay, this is TD Ameritrade, right? With the little blue symbol up there, right? 
we the first sentence we do not allow naked shorting at this time we do not allow naked shorting at this time you can read the maintenance requirements for shorting in our margin handbook here now this was a response to a question or whatever but we do not allow naked shorting at this time as we all are well aware of if you're not well aware of naked shorting is illegal right the comments on here, you guys are pretty funny right um, I'll pop that in there for your reading pleasure, but I just found that crazy. At this time, like, oh, we're going to announce next week. Folks, we're allowing naked shorting now. Just weird. 414E and pre the comments get crazy down here, too. So I'll pop that in there. Just goofy. Again, back to the whole shit show of Twitter. This thing's a cancerous disease. I like it for some things, and I like following some people on here. But this is a shit show. This whole entire thing is just an absolute crap show. Um, really quickly, if you have not heard, if you're just waking up wherever you are, uh, yeah, right there. Evergrande suspends trading in Hong Kong. And then there's articles from Asshole to Breakfast. It's everywhere, right? China Evergrande shares halted, set to release insider information. Ooh, boy, what's going to go on there, right? Gives a rat's ass. Down here, local media reported over the weekend a city government in the Chinese resort island of Hainan had ordered Evergrande on December 30th to demolish its 39 residential buildings within 10 days due to illegal construction. The building stretched over 435,000 square meters. Boy, we're going to have a shit show down there with that, aren't they? So, yeah, let's see. You know, a lot of people have seen some uh, comments, whatever, you know, hey, this doesn't have nothing to do with AMC or stock. Remember, you guys, I am and uh, the majority of everybody out there is talking the entire market as a whole. That goes down to everybody being over leveraged, the whole shit show that's gone on, the kinkery. Eventually, this stuff's going to iron itself out, right? And uh, yeah, this is a, a pretty big deal, right? Uh, this thing here, I just want to, this was an article, I'll put this in there to read, I found, came across this somewhere today, but just look at the top of that, the top 1% of Americans have taken 50 trillion from the bottom 90%, that's uh, really all you need to, uh, to hear there, right, um, pretty good article, we don't need to reach into much of it, I'll pop it in for a little homework assignment, basically talks about the whole shit show with the vid, and everything else in between right um yeah so i'll pop that in for your reading pleasure let's keep an eye out on this fallout let's keep an eye out on the new year and then this uh was a pretty decent little article here on the inflation blah 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 stocks face rockier path in 2022 as fed rates increase loom here's a brief little rundown we'll play this on the way out the door it kind of sums it up a lot better than listening to me stumble through these uh comments without my glasses on but let's take a listen to this on the way out, you guys. So let's see what the hell goes on with this stock. Let's see if we got any Evergrande, Nacho Bill Grande fallout this week. And let's see what this damn new year brings, right? Um, it's been a long year for all of you guys. I know that as well. Uh, I'm seven, eight months on YouTube now. The, the, we've talked about it. We've read the DD. We've, got, we've done everything, you guys. Um, Let's just hope, cross our fingers, that this thing ends sooner rather than later. I'm not getting bored with it. It's it's intense. The more I'm the learning about everything, you know, I thought I knew something. I didn't know shit until last year. I really didn't. You know, I know how to pick plays out sometimes and, and make a few bucks here and there like we all did. But I tell you what, uh, crazy to say the least. But something tells me with everything going on, including this right here, um, all of this stuff, one of these things, several of them are going to cause this whole thing to, to eventually unravel here, right? And I think you guys know where I'm going with that. So let's see what the week br uh, brings, boys and girls, and we'll listen to this on the way out the dough. In this market environment, the very mention of one economic... Wow, really? Dude. Okay, we won't. You get the gist of it. I'm going to pop that in for your reading and, and viewing pleasure. And uh, what are we firing in? We're firing that in. We're firing that in. We got a little bit of homework assignment. And, uh, dude, what is going on with my computer? 
Wow, man. Okay, guys, that's it. Later. I will talk to you later. Get some rest. Uh, good morning, wherever you're at. And uh, yeah, end of story. Bye-bye.